Hello everybody and welcome to Drizzt's Den episode 4. Got some really exciting news for you here. As always, I'm just gonna take a sip of my drink. And uh, let's get started. So the reason I'm wearing the same clothes as I did in the last video is because I'm um, recording this about an hour after I recorded the last video. Just reading up and uh, s discovered some pretty interesting things. First and foremost, this is the biggest piece of news that's been happening all damn year. Somebody finally teased about the new Xbox. I'm like a fucking little schoolgirl when somebody does that. Oh man, a Microsoft employee finally said something about the new Xbox. It's about damn time. This is the f very first time somebody has ever mentioned the new Xbox. Okay, so we've seen the dev kits for the new Xbox, which is, um, which is codenamed Durango. So the new Xbox dev kits have been released to the developers such as 343, such as Rare, because those are some big developers. Um, that's, I mean, that's pretty much all the information I got about the new Xbox, other than, I mean, right now. He said um, something about Windows 8. He's like, we have a lot of new stuff coming out that I think would be in, very well integrated with Windows 8, such as Hotmail, such as Windows or um, Microsoft Word, such as Microsoft Office, and the new Xbox. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Uh, I was paraphrasing there. He might have thrown in a couple more shit. I mean, a couple more stuff here and there. But that's what he said about the new Xbox. That it'll be integrated with Windows 8. Is this a good thing? I don't know. I hope it is. Um, the developers has said that the or that we should see the next generation consoles. Um, we should see more about them. We should see a uh, release date. We should see um, launch. I mean, release dates. What I'm talking about. We should see uh, trailers. Uh, like shit like that in 2013 my mind went completely blank there for a second I'm sorry guys we should see uh, the next generation of consoles start in 2013 with I guess it's starting with Oya because it's said to launch in March of 2013 so I think that or this brings up a uh, concern of mine the Xbox is on its last leg as of now. Microsoft's just coming out with new shit to kind of keep it on the market, keep it kind of fresh. The PS3 is just now hitting its stride. I mean, do I think that, I mean, you know, it doesn't have specs to keep up with a top-level gaming computer, but it's just now getting popular, and that's partly because of the price drops. I mean, when it first launched, I'm not going to pay $800 for a damn console that doesn't have any games worth buying for it. Now it's starting out to have, I mean, now it's starting to come out with some interesting games and blah, blah, blah. Shit like that. So it's just now hitting its stride. Will PlayStation, will Sony come out with a new PlayStation? Will they decide to launch one at the same time that Microsoft does? That's the that's the conflict I have. Xbox, they need to come out with something new. They're they're running outdated equipment. They're running outdated everything. But it still works. I mean, it's really still fun. It's my console of choice. So, do does Sony just stick with the PS3 and say have at it Microsoft, we don't care? Or does um, Microsoft wait until Sony makes the first move? Or does Sony come out with the PS4 or whatever it's being called, try at the same time and try to compete? They're going to have to do a price drop on 
the new console. I mean, it can't come out at a thousand dollars. Sony, what the fuck are you thinking? Um, like like I said, I really don't know. I just now had a thought about what Sony could do. What they could uh oh, the thing about it is is that if Microsoft comes out with a new console and Sony just decides to ride the PS3, Microsoft will be outselling Sony and everybody will be playing the new console and the PS3 will probably be, just be fucking forgotten. So Sony will probably have to come out with a new console just to keep up with Microsoft. Nintendo, they probably won't have to, but they probably will. And this console will probably be another one of the motion. Because they've had a lot of success from the Nintendo Wii. I mean, I like the Wii. It's a nice casual game system. So there is kind of the big news about the new consoles. Um, some more Oya news is that um, XMBC will be partnered with Oya. If you don't know what XMBC is, it is an award-winning media player. Uh, you can look it up here on YouTube. I'm pretty sure somebody has videos of it. Robert Bowling will be coming out with some video games to the Oya, so that's pretty good. Uh, the Kickstarter um, Kickstarter ends today, I believe. Today is August 7th. Kickstarter ends today, August 7th. So if you want to donate, do it now. They have raised almost seven million dollars, which is a shit ton of money. So they better come out with something fucking amazing with that seven million dollars. Hey, five of that money or five dollars of that is mine. I'm just proud to support a new console, you know, a new idea. Okay, so what else? Um, new Black Ops multiplayer trailer was released. It showed uh, some new maps such as like a shipyard, a uh, small town, destroyed Los Angeles, a couple more, showed um, stun grenades, uh, a sonar emitting stun dish type thing, throwing axes, a scope that you could see through smoke, um, this, that, and the other, you know, you know how it is. Do I really care about Black Ops 2? Pot, no. Not really, not until price drop, then I'll get it. The only thing I'll get it for is probably the campaign and the zombies, because they did tease that this Black Ops 2 will be the greatest zombie game, or it'll be the greatest zombie experience of all time, is what the president of the company said. So, hopefully they can live up to that hype, you know. Um, Sin City 2. Uh, been a lot of talk about Sin City 2. A lot of talk about Mickey Rourke being Marv again, which I really hope that happens because I love Mickey Rourke in Sin City. Sin City is one of my all-time favorite movies. So Mickey Rourke did an amazing job playing Marv, and I really hope he gets the uh, the part for Sin City 2. Uh, it's called Sin City, A Dame to Kill For, and it happens before the events of Sin City 1. So there you go. Um, so just like a little last tidbit of information for you. I went to see Batman, the new Batman, The Dark Knight Rises. Amazing movie. Avengers ain't got shit on the new Batman. I loved it. Okay? Well, I was watching it, and I was just reading up about it. Did you guys know that Bane's origin story was cut from the original movie? Like... We didn't see Bane Georgian's story. So maybe they'll come out with the DVD. Maybe it'll be an extended DVD that actually shows Bane's story. Maybe it'll be a deleted scene or something. But it just kind of surprised me. I mean, we did see a little bit about Bane in the movie. You know, if you if you get what I'm saying, if you've watched the movie before, you know that we've seen what happened to Bane. We've seen blah, blah, blah. And then he's like in the thing. And then all of the, the, the people. And then the thing happened. And there you go, you know what I'm saying. I tried to encrypt that as well as possible. So, uh, 
I really do hope they include Bane's origin story in the DVD. That's all I'm trying to say there. So that's pretty much it for episode number four of Drizzt's Den. We touched on a huge topic, which is Microsoft finally saying a little bit about the new console. You know, maybe now uh, they'll start talking about it more. Maybe this will just break the ice and open up the floodgates. I really hope it does. That way, uh, I'll have more to talk about in the next Drizzt's Den videos. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for new episodes. If you like it, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, favorites, do all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in the next Drizzt's Den. Thanks for watching.